Hey everyone, it's Mike here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a brand identity in Affinity Designer. But before I begin, I want to mention a few things. This tutorial was created using the US Imperial system. So feel free to follow along or use the standard metric size that applies in your country. So what is brand identity? Brand identity is essentially a collection of elements that portrays how a person or a business wants to be perceived by their target audience. This includes logo, colors, typography, design systems, and many other elements. In this tutorial, I'm going to be creating a letterhead, envelope, and a business card to communicate clearly the brand's unique identity since these are the most commonly used branding materials. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's open up a new document by going to File, New. Then we're going to select the Print Preset and select the Letter Preset for our letterhead. And if you live outside of the US, the commonly used size would be an A4. So, Let's take a look at our layout menu to ensure the dimensions, DPI, and orientation is correct. Then we're going to check the Create Artboard box. After that, let's go down to our color menu and select CMYK mode because we are designing it for printing. Over to our margins section, let's leave the Include Margins checked and we're going to input 0.5 inch then hit the tab key since i want to make the margins all 0.5 inch across the artboard i'm going to click on this link icon here and enter 0.5 inch on the right and then press the tab key again and then the rest will be filled in next since we don't need to have any bleeds or design elements that goes off of the page, we can leave that blank for now and click Create. Now let's zoom out a little and rename our artboard to Letterhead. After that, let's go back up to File, New, and then I'm going to go over my preset because I've already created a custom template for a business envelope. You may create your own using the same information. The envelope I will be designing has a dimension of 9.5 inches by 4.125 inches. Let's keep the DPI at 300 with a horizontal orientation. And make sure that the create artboard is checked. Let's skip over to the color menu since it is defaulted to CMYK and over to our margins section where we want to use the following information to create a safe zone for our return address. The left and top margins are at 0.25 inch, the right is set to 4.7 inches, and finally the bottom margin is set to 2.75 inches. After that, we're going to skip over the bleed section and click create. Now the envelope opens up in a new document. So with the artboard layer selected, let's copy it by pressing the command C or control C if you're on a PC. Then let's go back to the letterhead document since we'll be using that as our primary document to work on. Then paste in the envelope by pressing Command V or Control V if you're on a PC. After that, let's position it to the side of our letterhead and rename it to Envelope. Last but not least, let's create a business card document, one for the front and one for the back. So we're going to head back up to File, New, and since I've already made a preset for my business card template, you may create your own using the same information as well. Okay, now back to the business card I will be designing. 
It has a dimension of 3.5 inches by 2 inches at 300 dpi. Let's stick with the horizontal orientation and make sure that the create artboard is checked. Let's skip over the color and margin section, then head over to the bleed menu. I want to give this card a bleed of 0 0.125 inch across the artboard. So make sure that it's linked up and then input 0 0.125 and then press the tab key. Then the rest will be filled in. After that, press create. A new document will open up and now you can see a light gray box which is the bleed area. So let's make a copy of this artboard by pressing command C, control C for PC, then paste it into our primary document by pressing command V or control V for PC. After that, let's position it under our envelope, then make a duplicate of it by holding down the option and left click drag or if you're on a PC that's alt and left click drag and then we're going to place it underneath the first card. Now let's rename our business card artboards to business card front and for the second one that will be business card back. All right we finally made it and now we can start designing our branding materials. So let's start off by designing our letterhead. First, I'm going to place in the logo that I've already designed by going up to File, Place, locate the logo, and click Open. Then we're going to click on the letterhead artboard to place in our logo. Then I'm going to resize and position it to the left area inside the margins. Next, I'm going to select the Frame Text Tool to create a text box to plug in the contact information. Instead of typing everything, if you have the information ready in a Word or text document, you can simply just copy it and paste it over. I'm going to cut out the website and place it at the bottom after I finish editing the contact information. Back to our text box, let's highlight all of the text and we're going to go over the toolbar and align it to the right. I'm going to change the font to Montserrat to keep it consistent with the logo's font. And then with the text highlighted again, let's head over to the vertical spacing drop down box and I'm going to select eight points so that the lines don't look too far apart. If you notice the squiggly lines underneath the text, it just means that it's not in Affinity's dictionary. So to remove that, let's open up the character palette by pressing the command T or control T if you're on a PC and make sure we select the text box. Then head over to the language section and in the spelling drop down menu, select none. Now the squiggly lines are all gone. Next, we're going to change the color of the text. So with the text box selected, let's use the eyedropper tool and select the pink color from the logo. Now all of our text is pink. Finally, we're going to add the website at the bottom of our letterhead. So let's use the frame text tool again and paste in the website. This time I'm going to align it to the center and make the text bold. Now let's reposition it to the bottom of the safe area. After that, our letterhead is completed. You may turn off the margins by going up to view and disable show margins to do a quick preview of how the letterhead looks without it. But we need to show our margins so that we can work on the other branding materials. Let's go back up and re-enable it.
All right, now it's time to work on our envelope. Once you click on the envelope artboard, the margins will appear. Next, let's place in our logo on the envelope, but this time I'm going to use the logo without the company name because we will need to add the return address and then we'll manually add the company name back. So let's go up to File, Place, select the logo, click open and place our logo inside the safe area. Let's go ahead and resize it to make it fit inside the margins. Next, let's copy the address from our letterhead and create a text box on the envelope artboard using the frame text tool. After that, let's paste in the address in the text box and manually add the company's name back. We're going to add it above the address and make the name bold to match the original logo. Then I'm going to highlight all of the text and align the text to the left. Next, let's position the text to align with the center of the logo. And now we're going to add in a line to separate the logo and the text box using the pen tool. After that, let's change the stroke color and go over to the stroke palette and then input two point. Now, if we zoom in closer, we can see the endpoints of the line is rounded. I want the line to match the one from the letterhead. So I'm going to go over the stroke palette again and click on the butt cap to make the endpoints flat. And now, our envelope is done. Okay, now that we have our envelope finished, let's work on our business cards. So let's go over to our letterhead and copy the logo by holding down the option, left click and drag, or if you're on a PC, it's alt, left click and drag. And then we're gonna place it into our business card. We're going to resize and position it on the top left corner. But first, we want to make sure we select the business card front artboard to display the margins. Now, we can snap the logo into place. Next, we're going to add in the context name and title by going to the frame text tool and creating a text box. Then, Let's snap it into the center and input the person's name and title. After that, let's adjust the vertical spacing, followed by highlighting the name and making it bold to make it stand out. Then we're going to align it to the center. All right. Now that we know how to add, align, and stylize the text in our text boxes, I'm going to speed up this portion and plug in the other contact information. Okay, it looks like I forgot to erase the word address off of the envelope. So let's go ahead and remove that, and we're going to copy the address to plug it into our business card. Then I'll check back with you shortly. All right, the front of our business card is completed. Now let's move on to the back of the card. First, I'm going to go over the rectangle tool and I'm going to create a rectangle shape that covers up the entire card. So let's switch out the stroke color to fill and we're gonna remove the stroke color. 
I'm going to extend the rectangle outwards to the bleeds because we want the color to go off of the artboard. So when it comes time to print, any minor shift in the printing process can leave um, the edge of the material with a white space. Moving on, let's turn on our margins and then let's place in our logo. But this time, I want the colors to be inverted. So I have already have a logo with an inverted color. Let's go ahead and go up to File and open up the logo. We're going to place it into the artboard and resize it. Now let's position this in the center of the card. And last but not least, let's add in the company's website by copying and pasting it from our letterhead. And then we're going to change the fill color to white. After that, let's adjust the position and resize our text box. Then we're going to select the logo and text and we're going to position it in the center like that. Perfect. Now let's go up to the view and hide our margins and then let's zoom back out. Zooming back out allows you to take a step back and see the bigger picture to ensure that your design doesn't have any layout or even spelling or grammatical issues. So that wraps up our design phase. The next and final part is exporting it to print. Next, we're going to go up to File, Export, and we're going to select the PDF icon. And then on the Area drop-down menu, you can select the artboard that you want to export, such as the letterhead, envelope, or business card and then click on export. And that concludes our tutorial on how to create a brand identity in Affinity Designer. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating it. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions, what you think, or what kind of tutorials that you look forward to seeing in my next videos. And if you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe to check out what other creative projects or tutorials I will be working on next. On that note, I'll see you next time.